The chairman of the COVID-19 task force, Mori Su, said contact tracing of active cases is still on so as to ensure they are taken to isolation centers for proper medical examination. He gave the assurance while briefing the media on the activities of the task force. He said that out of 86 coronavirus cases in Emo, only 12 were active and that the patients were receiving treatment at two different locations in the state. The chairman said the state has not recorded any death from the virus. He appealed to the citizens of the state to always inform the task force on suspected cases for immediate action. When I'm joined from Abuja by Dr. Wilson Almuta, he's a medical practitioner. Thank you very much uh, for joining us on the news. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, so what do you make of the increasing number of cases that we have um, in Nigeria? What more can we do uh, in this country to ensure that we get quickly to the peak and begin to see a decline? So I think um, the federal government is doing so much currently, and we must give kudos to the ongoing work. Um, but however, I also would want to say that um, a lot of sensitization must continue. Um, epidemiologically, we might not have reached the peak, but um, however, it's important that we appreciate the fact that we don't have to reach a particular figure um, before we put into practice strictly um, the protective and preventive measures that um, have been communicated. So it's important that these preventive strategies, um, use of face masks, hand washing, um, hand sanitizers, if um, you're not able to wash your hands, um, social distancing, it's important that these preventive strategies are put in place. And then with this, we can flatten the curve because um, we have some isolated spikes, but um, irrespective of those spikes, we don't have to reach a peak and probably a plateau. We should aim at flattening the curve wherever we are at the curve. On the home treatment option, some people say it is counterproductive. Okay. Um, with regards to the um, home treatment option, um, I think the the it's it's in keeping with um, the World Health Organization and then international um, healthcare protocol. The there is no healthcare system in the world that is um, suited to cater for the body of the COVID-19 pandemic. There is no healthcare system. So it's not particular to the Nigerian healthcare system. However, it's important that effective communication goes both ways with the NCDC and then the individuals who are being isolated. Because um, if there's a bridge in communication, there'll be a bridge in trust, there'll be a bridge in um, effective self-isolation of of course, there are so many other things that might combat against the um, effective self-isolation, like um, poverty, um, hunger, and then people who probably stay more than one in a room, okay? So, but with effective communication, modalities could be put in place to ensure that, um, that the burden of the COVID-19 um, virus is brought down significantly. This is because um, no healthcare system, I, I, I insist, I, and I want to emphasize that no healthcare system is sufficient enough to cater for the large and rising number of infected cases that we are having. So it's important that we understand this and then um, also work in hand with the government, work in hand with healthcare agencies to ensure that um, this number is brought down. Also, very importantly, is the fact that I, I personally think the federal government should be able, I think it's working in Lagos, the federal government should be able to partner with private institutions, okay, such that they meet a required um, standard and then um, there should be protocols on how they can collaborate and then um, help to um, manage some of these cases, especially the mild cases with right. effective isolation and quarantine um, modalities. Thank you. All right. Before I let you go, let's uh, take your thought on this one. The PTF 
on COVID-19 were grilled by the National Assembly on the disbursement and use of the funds being donated um, and disbursed for uh, the fight against the pandemic. Um, some are saying this is a distraction at a time where they should be focused on um, fighting the pandemic. And others are saying due diligence must be followed to avoid a disregard uh, for the rule of law. What do you say? Um, okay, so, so um, I think the National Assembly